In the far forward battlefield environment, the medic's primary focus has to be on life-saving measures and patient stabilization. Without any sophisticated medical equipment, the stethoscope is one of the few tools available for monitoring patient status. Even the very simple information provided by a stethoscope can be sufficient to flag the need to clear an airway, perform CPR, or undertake another type of emergency procedure. However, ordinary stethoscopes lose their effectiveness when the background noise level rises much above 75 dB. Lives can be lost because of undetected cardiac arrest or loss of airway. The UH-60, or Black Hawk, is the workhorse of the Army's downrange medical evacuation fleet. Its cabin compartment presents an austere environment that is loud and vibrating. This chart shows, on the vertical axis, the amount of acoustic power in the cabin noise of a Black Hawk helicopter compared to the sound level of typical heart and lung sounds. Note that the heart and lung sounds occur in precisely the same frequency range seen on the horizontal axis as the helicopter noise. These physiologic sounds are impossible to detect in the presence of this much vehicle noise. The purpose of this training video is to thoroughly familiarize you with a new type of stethoscope, the A-scope. Because it utilizes two different modes of operation, acoustic and Doppler, vital physiologic activity can now be detected in the most extreme types of environmental noise. For most users with medical training, the acoustic mode of the stethoscope will be second nature, especially if you have experience using an electronic stethoscope. The Doppler mode is just as simple to use, but it might take a little more time to become accustomed to it. This DVD will present an overview of the basic technological concepts behind the Doppler mode. Getting to know how the ultrasound waves interact with the body will give you a better intuitive feel for positioning and manipulating the stethoscope to obtain a strong Doppler return. To truly understand the device, it is essential to spend some time listening with both modes to real physiologic sounds. Working with a volunteer allows you to get a better feel for stethoscope location and orientation versus anatomical position. However, listening to your own heart and lungs can be equally effective. A minimum of 30 minutes of practice is recommended to ensure thorough learning of the controls, the sounds, and the body locations. As mentioned earlier, the A-scope has two independent sensing systems. One is a passive piezoelectric sensor that responds electrically to vibrations at the surface of the body. These vibrations range in frequency from about 50 Hz to 1000 Hz and correspond to audible sounds emitted by internal organs, well understood heart sounds, upper airway sounds, lung and bowel sounds. When in this acoustic mode, it behaves like a conventional electronic stethoscope and is intuitive to use. The other sensing system is active and uses the Doppler principle to get around higher noise levels. When switched to Doppler mode, the method of use is similar, except for positioning technique and the addition of Doppler gel to the face of the device. The Doppler mode locates movement and vibration of working internal organs, such as the pumping motion of the heart and expansion or sliding movement of the lungs. The system employs a high-frequency source to send and then detect a very low-power ultrasound signal directed towards the heart or lungs. Similar to common home-use pregnancy monitors used to listen for fetal heartbeats, the stethoscope emits an extremely safe 2 MHz signal into the body and then senses the return signal after reflection from an internal organ. Motion of the organ is inferred from the difference between the frequency of the drive signal into the body and the receive signal after reflection. In the case of the stethoscope's physiologic Doppler, the difference frequency goes up and down repeatedly in response to movement of the heart or lungs, towards or away from the face of the stethoscope. What you hear are these difference frequencies processed through the stethoscope electronics. Background noise can be at a low enough